Hi there, here is a quick rundown of what is neuro-linguistic programming. In case you're not aware of the concept, this video might be of some help. So let's talk about what neuro-linguistic programming is. If I can define it by the experience that I have had in this field and perhaps the benefit that I have gained by understanding neuro-linguistic programming more and working with myself using the tools and techniques of NLP, I would call it a really structured collection of very powerful tools and techniques that can really help an individual revise their patterns and strategies and how they think about general things in life, about their work, about their relationships, about their loved one, or perhaps about their boss. And it can really help them reframe and move from a very chaotic mindset to a very solution oriented and results focused and a very uh, empowering mindset as we like to call it in under NLP. Now, if we can talk about the definition of uh, neuro-linguistic programming, let's break it into three parts. First one being neuro, and it is all to do with the nervous system and how information is coming into the brain using the five senses. You're either seeing things, hearing sounds, you can smell, you can taste the food, and you can actually have a sense of touch of, when, of all the physical things that are in, in your environment. Now, if we talk about these five senses and the information coming in through the five senses and all of the nervous system functioning, that is the neuro bit of NLP. Now, let's move on to the linguistics bit of neuro-linguistic programming. Now, when we talk about linguistics part of NLP, it is all to do with the meaning that we give to all those information data that is coming into the brain. Like any sound that I like, or any taste that I dislike, and all the other belief systems and values that we have in our brain, and we have given some meaning. And even in, in varying tendencies, we have given some meaning in our mind to different things. Indeed, yes, if I can say things to you like love, family, loved one, or first love. Now, all of these words in your mind have different meaning. And yes, indeed, even the emotional tendency of it would be varying. Now, if we move on to the programming bit of neuro-linguistic programming, it has to do all with how I am communicating with myself and how am I communicating with the people around me in my environment. Like for each and every one of us, even for you, programming part of NLP would mean how you as an individual communicate with yourself and how you communicate with the people around you so that you could move ahead towards your goals or anywhere that you want to be at in life. So that is precisely the definition of neuro-linguistic programming. Now, if we can talk really about the capacity of our mind, if we can talk the reality of this life, let me be honest with you, your life, is exactly how you think it is. That's about it. And if we can talk about this amazing organic machine that I like to call that has been planted here in our brains, neuro-linguistic programming is the user's manual to it. It all depends on how well have you really mastered the language of the mind that you have in here. And neuro-linguistic programming being the user's manual to it really can speed you up towards your goals. Because once you understand the language of the mind, you communicate with yourself and with others at a higher level. And you become able to move ahead in your life strongly, becoming the best version of yourself. I hope you're clear about what NLP is and in case this video has really struck some chords in your mind and it has made some sense, you better share it with your loved ones, friends and family and even if your colleagues, if you have a relationship with them that really thrives on growth for each other, then yeah, share away. And if you like this video, please like and share and also comment on our video and do let us know what more would you like to hear from us. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.